Setting up a budget in iBank will help you keep a better eye on your spending. Using categories unlocks the power of iBank to track your finances clearly. The key to budgeting effectively is to set up useful categories and make sure all of your transactions are categorized appropriately. Let's set up a new budget. Click the plus button on the toolbar and choose Add Budget. The Budget Setup Assistant will appear. It mentions that it's going to ask you about two kinds of income and expenses, scheduled and unscheduled. Click Next. You can name your budget. I'll leave the currency set to US dollar. The currency setting determines how figures are displayed on the budget report. Spending recorded in other currencies will be converted using current exchange rates for totals on the report. Click Next. Now we can select which accounts to include or exclude from our budget. Generally, we recommend that all accounts should be included for accurate budgeting. One reason to exclude accounts is if you plan to track account transfers, such as loan payments or personal savings, as expenses on your budget, in which case those accounts should be excluded. Click Next. iBank wants you to include or exclude the categories that should be tracked in this budget. When you create a new budget, any existing scheduled transactions are automatically included. To prevent a given schedule from being counted as part of a budget, exclude certain accounts or categories from the budget. Schedules pertaining to the excluded items will be ignored by the budget. Click Next. On this screen, we can set up the income that will be tracked in this budget. I'll click Salary and add my regular paycheck. I'll add the payee, how much, the category, start date, frequency, and account. I have the option to split the transaction to set it up properly. Under Options, I can control the scheduling and notifications for this scheduled transaction. Click Done with this income. On the next page, we can click the plus button to set up any other income, such as an annual bonus, miscellaneous scheduled, or unscheduled income if you don't get a regular paycheck. Click Set up expenses to move to the next step. Here we can add bills and expenses. Bills are expenditures that repeat on specific dates, like rent, utilities, etc. Expenses represent your monthly spending in a category that's not on a specific schedule, such as groceries, entertainment, and clothing. I'll click Add a Bill. Here I'll simply add an amount, a frequency, and a category, and I'm done with this expense. I'll repeat this for every bill and expense I'd like to track in my budget. When you create a new scheduled budget item, income or expense, iBank also creates a scheduled transaction for it. An unscheduled expense does not correspond to a scheduled transaction, such as groceries. I'll just create a spending target set for the frequency I'd like. When I'm done, I'll click Done with Expenses. The budget setup is essentially complete at this point, unless you'd like to set up envelope budgeting, which we'll cover in another video. Our new budget will show up on the source list under Budgets. The budget report shows you your progress for the month and your expenses and income. The budget progress line chart is a handy way to visualize your performance. It helps visualize your budgeted and actual expenses and will let you know if you've gone over budget. As we progress through the month, any transactions marked with any of these categories will make automatic adjustments to the budget so you can stay on top of your expected and actual expenses and income. Green lines show that you're on track, and red lines denote over budget. Scheduled items show as diamonds on the progress bars, positioned according to their dates. They are empty until they are paid, at which point they are colored green or red depending on their type, income or expense, and amount, over or underpaid. Unscheduled items show colored progress bars as payments are recorded on a spectrum between green and red, again depending on the type. The top expected expenses and income pie charts show your planned expenses and income for the budget period. Each pie slice represents the total value of a particular category, and they're drawn proportionally so you can visualize what portion of your expenses and income each item comprises. Click on any pie slice to drill down and see transactions you've recorded in that category during the current budget period. In the budget view, iBank allows you to move backward or forward in time to see how you've performed in the past and project how you'll perform in the future. Click the pop-up button to change the scope of the budget, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually. 
When navigating the budget report back and forth in time, you can make changes at any point in time. To edit a budget, you can either click the Edit button to the left side of a category to add or change an unscheduled target starting from whatever time period you are viewing, or you can click the gear-shaped action button and choose Edit Budget to walk through the assistant again, which also records changes starting from the time period you are viewing. iBank5 now tracks the history of your changes. So, for example, if you expected to pay $100 for fuel last month, and this month you change the expected amount to $200, when you view last month, you will still see that $100 was expected. The changes you make to scheduled and unscheduled budget items take effect at the beginning of the time period you are viewing and affect all budget periods after that. For more information on this topic, search the iBank Help menu for budgets.